Hi there, hello, how are you? I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day so far. I am so excited for this video. We are going to be testing out some viral Amazon home products. I think some of these things aren't gonna work, but I think some of the other things might work. These are also all things that I was definitely influenced to buy, but then they came and I was really thinking about it. One thing in particular is just strange. I really honestly don't think that I'll like that, but I will put the links to everything down below. They are Amazon affiliate links. I did buy everything. We do have a sponsor, but not quite yet. That's not part of this. Let's jump into it. We are going to head down to the laundry room first and test out the fur zapper. This thing has been out of stock. It was out of stock for like, I think a straight solid six months. It's finally back in stock. I decided to pick it up. You're supposed to use one per pet that you own. So um, if you have two pets, then you would put two in a single load. If you had four pets, then you would put four in a single load. But the whole idea of it is that this like silicone that it's made out of, it is a little bit like grippy. Like if you put this, see how it's shiny? If you put this on a glass surface, you kind of have to peel it back off. It definitely grabs at the hair. And there are what, 40? There are 41,405 reviews for this, but it only has three and a half stars. So while it's like viral, it's not very well loved. And I was reading through the reviews and the instructions and I think I figured out why. It's because everybody's using it wrong. So what you do with it is you throw this thing into the washing machine and then you take all those clothes out, you go throw them into the dryer, you take all those clothes out and then you retrieve the um, fur zapper. So a lot of people have this expectation that when you pull this out, it's going to be just covered in hair. And so it fur trapped it, but it's not called the fur trapper. It's called the fur zapper. So what it does is it knocks it all off of your clothing and it forces it down the drain and into the lint trap. Does that sound magnificent? Probably not. But before we put this thing to the ultimate test, because I got four more loads of laundry to do, we have a word from today's sponsor, EarthBreeze. EarthBreeze is a subscription-based laundry sheet company, but there's literally nothing to not love about EarthBreeze. I have personally been paying for my subscription four years, so I'm super stoked that they were willing to sponsor a video. What I'm sharing with you today are their laundry sheets. The whole reason why I even started getting like laundry sheets and all of that jazz is because of a shoulder injury. Pulling out the tub was hurting my shoulder, so I wanted an entirely different option. I didn't know that these existed, so when I was searching online for like concentrated laundry detergent, I stumbled upon these. These are vegan, cruelty-free, compostable, and biodegradable, and they give 1% back to the planet. They have fragrance free or fresh scent. The fresh scent is very mildly scented. So even if you have an aversion to a strong scent, this is still going to be very mild. I think you might like it. And they are good in warm or cold water. They are good in HE or regular washing machines. They are just this little sheet that as soon as you run it under water, it dissolves into the soap. They work just as well as all the top name brands at the store. I have a husband who likes to tool around outside. I have two young kids. I am generally fine. I'm not that messy of a human being, but then I do also have a dog so like all of that stuff needs to come out smelling clean and being clean and being stain free and these do it thank you earth breeze for sponsoring today's video i'll have the link down below so you can start your subscription today now back to the fur zapper it did come out linty yeah there are a couple dog hairs can you see them right there in black clothing it's it's like super obvious i feel like i would want it to work better than this on grippier fabrics like socks there's still hair Okay, but here's what it looks like. It did get a little bit tangled in my hair, which I did test this last weekend and the same thing happened because there is a little bit stuck to it. They say that, you know, you can just rinse it in the laundry sink with soap and water or just regular water. It's just going to come right off. The real test was really how much hair is in the filter. So I cleaned up the filter before I did the load of blacks all together. There's not a whole heck of a lot of hair. I only have one dog. It's a chihuahua. Um, my other dog was the real big shedder in the house and it's been um, about five weeks now. So a lot of the hair that she had flying around is no longer with. I mean, there is still dog hair in it. So it did still grab it. Is it more than the norm? I don't know. I don't know. Next up is something I am really excited to try. It's literally designed to hold things in place during an earthquake. It's called museum gel. I'm sure you've heard of it. Everybody seems to be using it. 
I use the poster tacky stuff. It's sticky, but it's not really sticky enough. It doesn't really hold that well into place. I think it's literally made for paper onto cement and not like plastic onto wood or anything like that. But this is supposed to work on every surface. It's supposed to be non-marking. It does say that it's for glass and crystal and you can adhere, secure 300 or more crystal figurines. It has more than 7,500 reviews, four and a half stars. Um, I'm sold on it. I definitely was sold on it and I like the idea of this better than the putty stuff that I was using because the putty stuff is um, like it's opaque. It's that weird, you know, like the white color. This stuff, this is that poster sticky tacky stuff. It's really just like a, a moldable clay, but I use these clear drawer um, organizers and you can see it through it. So I don't, I don't love that. Um, I think that this is going to work out so much better. It's like crystal clear. It's removable, reusable, non-toxic, won't stain or otherwise mark furniture. And people say that it legit, it does not stain. It's easy to remove. It's easy to reuse and reapply somewhere else. It is non-toxic, but it does say to keep it out of reach of children. Maybe they'll think it's slime to play with. Oh, because it kind of feels like and looks like slime. Oh, I touched it. Now you can see my fingerprint in there. That's so weird. It was kind of hard though. Oh, you like kind of pick it. You just kind of pick it out. That's it. Let's go use this. Let's go put this in places. I just cleared out this drawer the other day for Project 52. If you don't know what that is, that is uh, 52 things that we're decluttering together in 52 weeks. We post a new reel or a short here on YouTube every single Sunday and they take about 15 minutes or less to complete, but then you have like a new organized, decluttered, functional space. So these pieces don't fit in here exactly perfect. Like there is a little gap, not even enough to stick like anything in really to block it. So what I want to do is adhere everything down with the museum gel. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. It's said to give it 30 to 60 minutes to cure into place and then give it a nudge. So I'm gonna just smoosh them down for right now and then we're, we'll let them cure and we'll come back in like an hour. These bins aren't part of the haul but they are from Amazon and I freaking love them. They come in multi-packs. They work so well and I use them everywhere. My only downside to them is that they are loud. Like you are getting ready in the morning. You're making some noise. I don't mind. It's time to get up anyways. Make some noise. So far, I love the museum gel. It turns totally clear. It's really easy to work with. It's kind of satisfying, kind of fun to work with. It appears to already be a lot stickier than the little um, poster tack. Okay, it's definitely been enough time for these to be like fully set. Oh yeah, they really don't move now. Everything is holding together so so nice, um, a lot less rattling sound when I open and shut the drawers, which is nice. It reduced the sound quite a bit. Not, of course, anything that's gonna be clanking in there, but yeah, museum gel for the win. All right, the next thing that we are going to try is something that I think is utterly useless. I can't really find a super good example, like maybe one very, very, very specific example as to why you would need a desktop vacuum cleaner. Here it is, and everybody seems to be obsessed with it. It's also relatively cheap. Like the museum gel, I think it's usually about 14 bucks. This one's $14 right now. There's a bunch of different colors. You can get it in pink. It's adorable. I get like the draw of it, but I hate it. And hear me out. This is why I hate it. Um, it is another thing for you to have to maintain. So it does require a battery. They also have a rechargeable model, but regardless, you have to maintain the power of it. And that is just another cord and another thing that I have to charge and another thing to be dead when I want to go use it. Of course, it also needs to be emptied. So once you are sucking up all of those crumbs, if it's food, do you really want it to sit in here for very long? Probably not. So for me, me, if you have to still do that anyways, you might as well just get up and go to the garbage in the first place. It comes with the little device and its own little brush, maybe for cleaning out like the, the bristles here on the bottom. So a lot of people are saying that this is a thing that you would want to put like at, in your desk drawer so that when you're working you can, and you have crumbs because I don't know, you ate a snack at your desk, um, you could just pull this out and vacuum it up. As if you don't have a garbage can near your desk or the ability to get up and just go throw whatever it is that you need to in the garbage, the little crumbs in the garbage rather than wiping them onto the floor. But you know, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> 
there's a little unlock feature, locker unlock feature right here. When you push this in, it pulls the top off. That's where we're gonna stick the batteries. It takes two double A's, and here's where I get to the next point that I find to be incredibly annoying. The two double A's last for about 90 minutes. To me, that's not very long. Freaking draining these batteries. I guess there's no chance. I can't get it in there. There's not really a chance that you would leave it on accidentally. Okay, I think this is going to be a very good first test. One of the reasons that I would use this, I suppose, would be to suck up makeup powder that has landed on my desk rather than wiping it into my hand because it feels gross. So I'll dump some of that on the desk, maybe even kind of rub it in a little bit and see how well it picks it up. It kind of hovers on its own. It's, it is. It does feel pretty powerful. A little bit of work, it did do a pretty decent job. It did not make the space clean by any means. It's still obviously got a lot of little residue and stuff on it, but it did actually suck it up pretty good. Let's try something a little chunkier, a popcorn kernel. Obviously, it's not going to be able to pick up an entire kernel, so let's break it up. You guys, I have not done my nails lately. It's like a mental health issue if I'm not doing my nails, but I think I'm almost all the way through it. I ended up buying some nails, some, um, some press-ons on Amazon. I think these are even still too big, and I know I'm, it's gonna make me feel better, but okay, let's test it out grabbing these. These seem, yeah, these are like really kind of too big. Maybe we could still get it. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. most impressive little vacuum ever. I don't know. I fell in love with it just now. I literally have no purpose for it. I don't need something like this. This is against like my decluttering encouragement for you to get something so ridiculous and so novelty that it almost serves, it serves one very specific and tiny purpose and you have to maintain it, which I wouldn't recommend it, but like it works so well. <laughs> okay, so let's see what the little tray on the bottom looks like. Yeah. I mean, it sucked everything up. It, it did a good job. If you're in the market for something like that, I'll have a link down below. Oh, the next thing I am so excited about because cords are kind of the bane of my existence. I think everybody hates cords in their house, being able to see the cords, and especially on the kitchen counter. And those cords are thick and they are so noticeable. They're just like these thick black cords hanging from every single one of my appliances. I am so excited to finally have these cord wrappers. Now I found this, it's a 10 pack. I bought them honestly because I wanted to pick the things that were most viral, most popular to be sold. These had over 3,000 ratings and they do come in at three and a half stars. Is that excellent? It's really not. They're eight dollars though. For less than a dollar a piece, I'm going to be able to um, wrap up a bunch of my cords around my house. I picked this neutral color collection. There's a bunch of different color collections and stuff on there. We're gonna go do the other appliances in the kitchen. I'm, I'm like stoked about this one. They say they are made of a rubber material. They are strong and sticky, easy to install and durable. You just remove the adhesive peel on the back, adhere it to your appliance, and it says to wait 30 minutes and then wrap your cord around and it should be good to go. It does have that clip in the middle that is meant to hold like the plug end of it if you keep your appliances unplugged. We really don't so I'm just kind of trying to get them to get uh, like cleaned up more so than just tucked away or put away. Okay so the tricky part is that you kind of have to wrap it blind around the back of it. I guess that would be the case for any of these but if you want it to be pretty tight against the back wall you have to like do it while you can't see. It's working and it looks so much cleaner back there already. Okay, I need to fix another cord over here. Okay, clean surface, little attacher. Unless you can get it in this, it's not staying, which is definitely a downside because every appliance cord is so thick. So I'm gonna try to stab it in there. There, we just needed to separate it a little bit. We tend to pull it out to the edge, so I needed to leave um, some slack back there, but it's definitely better. 
Okay, overall verdict for these, I would say that they definitely do have their purposes. They are very practical. I think that they work better for thinner cords. You could even do a lot more wraps around with a thinner cord, but the thicker cords, they're a little bit tricky. They're definitely tricky to get here. I'm curious in the long term how well these hold up with the thicker cords, but I'm definitely going to keep them. I could see putting these underneath nightstands and stuff, just winding up cords like that so you don't visually see them like all puddled up underneath. Okay, this next thing is another thing that's very practical and a lot of people are kind of getting more on board with this rather than the foam that you put underneath of a rug. So you know like, okay, so these are rug grippers. You know when you buy a new rug, you're kind of like instinctually, or at least for me, want to buy a rug pad and that way it doesn't slip and slide all over your wood or tile or laminate, whatever it is that you have. Or maybe when you buy your new rug, the ends that are like curled up tightest in the center of the roll, just they have a really hard time relaxing. I tend to weigh it down with like chair legs and that does definitely help the curl. But another thing that helps even better and more semi-permanently is going to be these rug grippers. So these are shaped just like the corners of your rug. You have an adhesive that you peel off that it sticks to the floor. You have the other side of the adhesive you peel off, it sticks to the rug. You stand on it for a minute or so and it adheres really nicely. They are washable so they are reusable. So when you buy them you kind of don't need to rebuy them. So 16 pieces, this is obviously it's good for four rugs and uh, we used it on the rug that we just got in our dining room and it settled down the rug curl so nice and now because it's like a high traffic area the corner is facing a high traffic area coming in and out. You know how when that happens it usually curls up on that side and you end up tripping over the corner. Not any longer with these things. They don't leave a residue when you peel them off. They are totally safe for kids and pets and, and the rugs and the finishes of the floor and the different types of rugs that you have. I would say though that a rug that sheds a lot like a jute rug that is all shedding on the bottom, it's going to stick to it, but it's not going to stick to it like super phenomenally well. Next up, I think I'm going to save the weirdest thing for last. This next thing I am really excited for though, it's called Link to Home and it is a sofa sock. I've seen a whole lot of Amazon hauls with this dang sofa socket. Holy hell, this is a thick ass cord. I thought the stuff on the appliances in the kitchen were thick. It is a sofa socket outlet plus two USB 10 foot cable length in light gray. It also comes in black. It has a regular power outlet on this side. It has two USB outlets on the other side and a 10 foot cord and the cord is kind of sort of a lay flat cord which I liked. I thought it was going to be a little bit flatter than this but at least it doesn't stick straight out because it does need to go behind a sofa. They were at least mindful of the fact that that's like the point of it. This thing was kind of pricey. Full price is $35. It's got 500 reviews, four and a half stars. The main question is, is this safe to have like an outlet available like this on your couch? I would say if you have little kids or pets that would stick their tongues in this, maybe not. Maybe put one of those little outlet covers um, or protectors on this side, but they do say as far as like fire safety, hazard safety, that it is, um, it's a safe thing. Everybody loves it. There hasn't been any incidents and they say like there's some sort of technology in here that it doesn't overheat, that that's not possible. I don't know. I don't know. I still feel a type of way about it, I guess. Um, and then this part right here is supposed to slide right down into your cushion, so it's very easy to just have access to it, but then also tuck it away, which is a really big problem in our living room. We don't have any cords anywhere near our couch. We do, of course, have it behind the couch. My husband has had his plug in back there, but I've never dragged the couch out myself and tried to do anything so that I could work on my computer and have it charging with its laptop or having like a phone charger or something back there for myself. So I guess this is going to solve that problem. I think this is going to come in handy. I'm really excited to test it out. I guess I really don't have any more than a first impression of how it looks and how it fits in the couch, but I think that it is going to be super handy. Okay, I'm hitting a decent amount of home runs today. I'm pretty shocked at the things that I like, but this last thing is very weird. It's called the Squeezy wall-mounted shower um, shampoo and conditioner like dispenser. It's honestly
actually it's very expensive. It's $25 for a two pack of these currently and all they are is to hang your, your shampoo and your conditioner upside down in your shower and then you squeeze the bottom of it to release the product. Um, it does come with some adhesives. I'm going to give this a try in the kids shower and see if it even holds up on the real like we have that tra tra travertine travis travestine you know like the real stone showers gotta be honest i know it was a thing and people really liked it but it's a pain in the ass nothing adheres to it well i found one hook thing that's like a suction cup sticky hook thing that actually does adhere but everything else it just doesn't really work out but i'm hoping that this does because i mean it comes with like extra adhesive and the suction wet the sleeve before in inserting the bottle. Squeeze the bulb to release any trapped air. I like that there's a window so you can see what product it is that you have. It says to push it all the way down. Okay, let's give it a try. So um, you're supposed to milk it like that. Yep, there you go. I'm gonna have to do this like 30 times to get enough out for my daughter's hair, but I suppose this is easier for her to do on her own as opposed to me doing it for her and having to come in here. So it does a lot for more independence, for sure. It says 10 to 18 ounces, so this 20 ounce bottle would be too large. This bottle is very round, but like it's still working. There, I think just as long as it's secured in there, it's fine. All right, so then there's our body wash. You kind of squirt squirt out yeah okay it works it's fine it's not my favorite thing but it is kind of cool i'll let you know how it stands the test of time we'll update on our squeezy bottles it's been 10 days these things are holding up magnificently they have not fallen once but i will say that it does dispense just a small amount so like if you need more than the normal amount to do your hair then this might not be for you my daughter has like butt length thick curly hair so we have to use a lot of co-wash the idea of milking them is gross but my kids love them and it's harvard independence so i can't hate them by the way this is a small business the fur zapper is also a small business i believe museum gel is and the couch socket is so a decent amount of small businesses in this video overall i think i'm most on the fence with the squeezy bottles they're kind of weird. I can see the purpose with them though, but they're kind of weird. I almost feel like they're a little unnecessary. They don't really look that nice. They're kind of expensive, but I guess they do serve a specific purpose and a specific purpose that would be beneficial to a lot of people. So whatever, there's definitely a purpose for them. Maybe it's just not for me. I wouldn't put it in my shower. That's why I put it in my kids. Okay, so then that is it. That's everything that I have for you all today. Thank you all so damn much for being here. Huge shout out to all my patrons for making videos like this possible. To Earth Breeze for sponsoring today's video. I will have a link down below for you. Give this video a thumbs up if it's something that you wanna continue seeing. I love doing this. Um, I thought that I was going to de-influence you into buying some things that it turns out most of the stuff was pretty cool cool. I don't know. Maybe you saw something that you thought was going to work out well for you and you realize now that it, it really only serves like one very specific purpose or it's not something that you necessarily need in your life for the price. So hopefully I saved you some money. I probably didn't. Love you all so damn much. I'll see you next time. Bye.